stream. Uh, okay, the really exciting thing about this one is we're going to tell you how to sign up uh, so you can join the closed beta. So to do that, all you need to do Guys, what are you doing? Is that not funny? That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Tom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crying. There's nothing wrong with our uh, really <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong. We're just, we're just jerks. Um, <laughs> so, actually, we just put up a blog. Uh, it's live on our site right now. It's going to show you how to sign up for the beta. Uh, there's a different link if you are in the U.S. or if you're EU. So, go there. You can sign up right now, like, immediately. Right now? Uh, we'll have those open over the weekend. Sign up. Join us. Uh, we're really excited. Uh, you're going now. If you sign up today, codes will be going out um, by the 11th uh, or on the 11th. Sorry. So. Don't bother us. We can't help. Sony is sending out these codes. Um, there is nothing that we can do in that interim. Uh, so make sure you just sign up. Uh, wait. We have a lot of space in the beta. We're super excited to uh, open it up to more people. Um, that'll be awesome. And uh, it's still closed beta. It's still under NDA. Uh, but the cool thing is everything that you make will carry through to the full game, barring horrible technical disaster. Or mm -hmm. if you make copyrighted things, uh, those can be removed at the request of the copyright holder. So don't do that. That is against our policy. It is against Sony's policy. And it could mean your things aren't there when you come back. So um, yeah, is that, uh, I mean, uh, but since you won't be getting a code immediately, you can still hang out for the rest of the stream. Yeah, you don't have cool to run stuff, away. You know, you've got a few days to <laughs> sign up, so you yeah. don't have to, I imagine half of you have gone now. So yeah, just do it now, do it now, do it now, just do it now. Fun fact, um, that's our website is, uh, Okay, you've is, crashed our website you've crashed immediately. Our website so. Our website, ever. <laughs> but it's okay, you've got, there's plenty of room. Uh, in fact, Tom is going to send those uh, sign-up pages out on Twitter right now, yep. um, so you can go check our Twitter, and they will be there. Cause we did assume that you would crash our website yep. almost immediately. Real, yep. real-time tweeting right here. It's a good sign to <laughs> see that our website has crashed because you guys all want in, and it is a cool place to be in, right? We've seen some cool. Yeah. yeah so what we're doing on this stream is we're going to show you a bunch of our favorite things, uh, a bunch of things that other people on the team here have pointed out uh, as like their favorites. Um, one thing first, uh, we had our first community jam, and so many of you entered, and they were really amazing things, and we decided that we would just spare no expense and fly in the winner uh, of the community jam in from... Um, Where was it again? Oh, oh, downstairs at Media Molecule. Come here and be shamed, Richard Frank. Come here, Rich. Come here. He's a very oh. naughty boy. We should have set some rules. <laughs> Happy New Year, kittens. <laughs> We oh, should have set some rules about Media Molecules entering. Uh, we will not do this for the rest of them. We are I sorry. I was just so excited to have the beats at home. <laughs> I know, we all were. <laughs> and I just thought I'd use the community challenges to inspire me to make something. Yeah, but you also idea. won. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't mean to win. I didn't Champion. expect to win. <laughs> let's take a look at what Rich yeah, made. Rich. And Rich can show us a little bit how he did it. And then he is banned from all further community jams. Well. Sorry. <laughs> We I'll really still make it. things for you, darlings. You can still find me. Right, what am I looking at? Okay, so this is, we'll look at this later. This is our beta creator highlights. Cause these are a load of things that we've seen here at MM that we really liked. There was actually so many, it's very hard to choose. But yes. if you want to navigate back out and find your Do I just want to go dream? to my one here? Yeah, absolutely. There it is, look. This is the dream. This The community jam was for a scene, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I made a scene and I put that in. But there's a dream version of it if you've got if you're in the beta. But the thing is, we have to put scenes in dreams for them to be surfed. Sorry to interrupt you very quickly. That tweet is now live with the sign-up link. So go to Twitter, go to our Twitter, look at the things, sign up. It is there. Um, quit crashing our website. Featuring some lovely art by Maya. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. Should make us a and remember your, your PSN and your email. Make sure it's the same email you use. No, that actually oh, doesn't matter to sign up with your... Oh, okay. Sony's, Sony's handling me. this round of invites. Go for it. <laughs> it's all, all their, their problem now. Yes. Okay. Ignore me. <laughs> anyway. Hope. Anyway. So, yes, as I was saying, I submitted a scene to the community <laughs> challenge, which got... Because it was anonymous, no one knew I was from Media Molecule, and I didn't it's know it true. was... You didn't know you were from Media it's Molecule. It's true. We well, actually was... we, we tried to make it extra fair by taking out names so that you couldn't be like, vote for this person, on you know, uh, and then, um, yeah, we, we didn't really foresee Rich winning. 
<laughs> but anyway, there's a second level which wasn't part of the community jam, but it's in the dreams. So when you can, when you get access to the dream, you'll be able to see it. Now I haven't got edit mode here, have I? No. 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 So I can't show no. you. Behind oh, you just have to no. show us your scene. Okay, let's play it. Oh, oh, my no. battery's low. Did we not plug in the... Oh, we it's have okay. a plug. There's, there's quite li I'm looking at four controllers right in front of no, me. No, we got so. a plug. Oh, it's a short one. It's Let's grab short. the longer one. Rich is just going to squidge forward. Yeah, there we go. Squidging is my speciality. <laughs> right, <clears throat> let me recalibrate. There we go. So, yeah. Um, let's just let the intro play. So what was the community challenge? Tell me the brief. It, it was to create a winter holiday like scene. Winter holiday. Winter, well, winter, winter scene. scene. Sorry. That's all right. The holiday was optional, but lots of people did. Yeah, this is not cool. the holiday I'd want to go on. <laughs> so I thought I'd make something very cold feeling and. Um, Put the links in chat. So I did. It may look pretty, but actually a lot of it's very cheap, and there's a lot of repeated objects because I wanted to make something big but I didn't have a lot of time. It took me two days to make this scene. Wow. Um, so I made like a big chunk of rock and a smaller rock and then a smaller rock again and I put a bit of snow on them and then I just cloned them around and made a huge landscape and I made this sort of snow dune thing that you can see a bit of it down there. But the great thing about dreams is because it's there's no textures as such Although you're going to show some sneaky tricks. peeks about tricks tips, and yeah. tips to get... What it means is that you can scale things up really massive and because of the way the flex render to get all technical, it means that things still look good when you make them bigger and smaller. Yeah, there's so, like giant squares everywhere. Yeah, so basically I made this level and I wasn't really sure... I forgot to trigger off this thingy up here. Um, I wasn't really sure what the gameplay was going to be, so I just started off making an interesting little environment to explore, and then I wanted to give you something to do. So I made these little statues, well, one little statue, and then I cloned it around the place and just hid them. And I thought, we'll just make it a hide-and-seek kind of game. We nice. have to hunt down these little things. They look like they warm you up a bit as well, actually. I quite like well, that was, yeah, because I wanted them to pop from all the coldness. This is yeah, the same reason why I gave the guy an orange scarf was, or well, maybe a woman, Smart. who knows, um, orange just to kind of lift them from the environment kind of thing. So there's 12 of them hidden in this little area. Some of them are easier to find than others. But what was really cool was, you know, it was like a, a little one person game jam in that I started off just building an environment because that's what I've always been a specialist at. And then I layered the gameplay on top of it. So I hid some stuff in it, because I wanted to keep it simple. I'm not very experienced with logic. But I put in... I learnt some logic in order to complete it. So you have to collect the 12 things, and then it triggers stuff off. Learning how to make the little birds light up and animate. Even though it's quite simple, there are tricks to make things look cool. And using keyframes and timelines and all that kind of stuff. Yeah and then doing the little cut scene and then you just kind of polish and polish and polish. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Well, it was beautiful. I love it. I think it looks great. Award-winning. I made all the bits <laughs> remixable as well so other people can... Ah, good. Thank you for that. That's very kind of you. I've seen your tree used everywhere, actually. Well, because I guess of it's the community cool challenge yeah. and I entered mine quite early, it got used by a lot of people. Which is really yeah. good. Because it was nice. Christmas. Yeah. Um, if you're just joining us on this stream, uh, we have posted the sign-up uh, information uh, on our blog, although I believe our site is down, and also on Twitter uh, and in the stream chat. Uh, just so you know, um, this is a closed beta. Um, we do have a bunch of space, so please do sign up. You have a good chance of getting in. Um, there is still an NDA that covers it. You do need to be over 18. That is Sony's rules. Um, and uh, invites should be start going out on the 11th. Um, that's because Sony needs time to make sure everybody qualifies. Uh, you're in the right territory, and you're 18 or older, so there's nothing we can do about that. 
Um, but we're really excited to welcome you in. The beta is going to run through the 21st uh, of the month, so you'll have two weekends, lots of time uh, to play around, get familiar with stuff and dreams, and hopefully make some amazing stuff. Uh, the cool thing is that you guys are helping us test our server. You're helping us test various tools. Um, if you've been posting on in dreams.me uh, in our feedback forums, it's been super useful. Uh, we're cataloging, going through all of that stuff right now. It's been really fun interacting with you. John's been on there a lot. I love going on there. Um, all the questions you're asking now are so different from before we had the beta because you were like, can we do like a a VISC kind of game. Kind of make now, a first-person shooter. Now, and now you're very, making them. Yeah, exactly. And now they're just like, how do I put a hat on top of a character? You know, they're very, like, yeah. focused questions now. It's really exciting. Well, so let's show some of uh, the stuff yeah. that people have made. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. You get a squidge. Thanks, Rich, and well done. Thanks, Rich. Right. Thanks, um, Rich. I do apologize, everyone. I won't answer any more. Um, you won't get an email right away if you sign up. I just saw someone ask, um, but uh, you are like registered Bye. on the site. Should tell you that when you, um, and then you should be getting emails next week. So um, I don't think you get one right away when you sign up. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So don't panic. There's a few people as well asking like how to sign. Like the links send you to a page and just do what those pages tell you to do. So I think the EU one, you need to put your PSN ID in. Mm -hmm. That's what you um. need to do. And then the US one, uh, if that's the region your store's linked to, there's a full form to fill out. But both will do exactly the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I know it's a bit late for New Year's, but I quite like this one was quite. Oh good. yeah, they're quite super like cute. Let's have a look. So Big Ben is late for New Year's, and uh, if you're from the UK, when it's chimed in by Big Ben at midnight, and we all go down to, well not all of us, but a load of us go to London and wait for Big Ben to slap down the, the noise and make it ring in the New Year, but we've got to get Big Ben there. There's the London Eye, we've got to get to the Houses of Parliament. <laughs> Where are they? There they Across are. the oh, river. I mean, I'm not even a local, yeah. and I know this. Although I believe Big Ben is like closed for uh, <gasps> like renovations or something right now. You are the what only person I've Big seen mess this up. Are you stuck in? How did you? I can do it. I can do it. Are you stuck I, in the MI? Go the other way. <sighs> Big Ben's so heavy, you can't escape. This All right. Trap. Well, maybe we restart this. <laughs> you broke You've Big just ben. bug tested somebody else's. See, fix your bugs, kids. Okay. That's all I can say. I'll do it properly this time. <laughs> I promise. I promise. Here we go. All right. Yep. Cross the river. Coast down with this is great. They've just been testing a bunch of stuff for us, and now we're going to test a bunch of stuff for them. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and we've got to chime 12 times. Naturally. I felt like I chimed quite a lot of times earlier when I was stuck in that hole. Two, one. Happy New They're so cute. Yeah, it's really cool. And it's lovely to see remixes of like, so these are fireworks that we gave away and then they oh, used okay. it and remixed it, which is really nice. So I love that people are getting into the remix culture. Of doing yeah, I've seen a lot of, especially with audio, heard a lot of songs that are, you know, like familiar, used in tons of different levels. It's been really cool. Really Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. It's like a hugely exciting year for dreams. So um, this is a nice way to kick yeah, off the stream. Absolutely. Okay, Let's what do we have? Uh, what then? do we have next? Um, yeah, thanks to Emperor Two, if I'm saying that right. He's yeah. in the chat. In the chat. They're in the chat. Hello. There you go. Oh, You're hi. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. That was super Hello. cool. Okay. Um, Which one are we looking at? Oh my next, god, then? I don't even know where to go next. So we can start from the top and just work our way down. Okay, or okay. Let's um, have, let's a have little have a witch was super cute. Little uh, witch this was by just like a really charming. Um, Character. I was really amazed to see how many characters people have made, and they're all like, they're just so lovely. People seem to really like making characters. Yeah. There's one character that I know you're a massive fan of, Abby. Oh, yeah, no, my favorite character I think is pretty much coming up next, but um, that one was really nice. Lovely, lovely. This is my favorite character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. This is. Uh, I think Abby messaged me later this, and was like, oh my God, John, you got this. This may be my favorite thing that's been made in the uh, in the beta so far because if you you see, you've got what looks like a, a totally normal horse, obviously. Obviously. And then uh, uh, X-ray. <laughs> <laughs> The X-ray mode is amazing. <laughs> this makes me so happy. I don't know why. <laughs> and just for everyone out there, this is how real horses really yeah. are on the inside. Yeah, they're all just two humans horse. in their underwear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, anyway, that's totally normal for us. <laughs> Congratulations, whoever did that. You've made my favorite thing. I love that one. <laughs> I love that one. Who did make it? Who did make uh, it? What's the name of the character? Put in, uh, put in 482, 482 and one other. Very nice. Uh, thank you for that. You've thank really you so made my year. Um, a year. Let's go. keep going. Yeah, let's, let's keep, going. keep going. Let's see what else we've got here. There's, there's so many. It's It was almost impossible to choose. You know, it really was really hard. Let's have a look. How about um, oh, time corruption? Time is amazing. Corruption. Oh, is quite, I was playing. Oh yeah, this is really phase. cool. Time has stopped to prevent further damage. Agent intervention required. Find time control bracelet. Activate power nodes. Enter into the powered singularity to restart time. Press X to take control of the agent. People have been so good about putting in all the like directions and controllers. It's really I'm so impressed. Checkpoints. This one's got some um, really cool features. Um, oh, and the cool thing is a bunch of people made collections of uh, awesome beta stuff, so you know they'll be there for everybody to check out when they go in. And uh, we, this one is, will also be available as a collection. Um, we published this, so you'll be able to go in here and play all this stuff and find it easily. Oh, you got the time bracelet. Time bracelet. Yeah, the person who made the beta highlight collection is brilliant. Thank you so much for doing that. It's just made our lives easier to be able to find stuff. It's really wonderful. So here I can rewind so time cool. forwards and backwards. And I love how they've added these special effects. They've made the lines wibble a bit. Look, yeah. Some screen effects. It's just really great that they've figured out how to do all these things. Because we didn't give tutorials to do that. And so they've figured it out themselves, which I find is amazing. And all you people out there who are sharing and helping each other on the forums, that's really cool. Thank you so much for doing that. Yeah. Oh, so beautiful. The yeah. chat seems to be loving this one. That's yeah, really this nice. Really cool. It's understandable. I was surprised how quickly people made things. My parents were here for the uh, for the holiday, and we spent basically every night just going through the Dreamiverse and looking at all like the newest stuff being published. And they had a blast. At the end of it, my stepdad was like, "I'm getting a PS4. I need this." <laughs> he actually wants to make stuff in it. That's amazing. I love this. It's just so cool, and it's really intuitive as well. The button controls. Again, if you're just joining us, you can find the link to sign ups on our Twitter account. Uh, and when our site comes back eventually someday, uh, they're also there. Our it is. Oh, it's up. It's, well, yeah. now it's going to be up for about, I don't know, 10, 20 yeah, more seconds. Let's share this link. Um, so go ahead, sign up. Invites going out on the 11th. Um, we you know, can't wait to have more people in. It'll be a nice test of our servers. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, thanks for testing all the stuff. Well, now this is the bigger this is the bigger bit because it's going to be more people. More, so um, even more. Like the scarier bit, the more people in. There you go. Got one one connection, and then you've just got to go around and do so all the others cool. and get all the connections there. But I mean, I love this level. It's great. It's amazing. All and right, let's show more. Big shout Slurm out to McKenzie. Slurm McKenzie. I'll give you a like for that one. Thank you. Let's see what else we've got here. Ooh, Connie's Weird Adventure. Oh, this is, this oh, is this so is clever. My, this is I love favorite. this. I like this one. This is, this, is, this is a tricky one, this is. Help Connie leaving this ominous room. Okay, so how do we do it then? Some stuff lights up. Oh, uh, you're right. So, oh, do you want me to give it away? I mean, I played this a couple times. I've, I've also played it. Oh, I'm, I'm okay. Trying, uh, you're you're being coy. Yeah, let, yeah. Uh, like, oh, letting I, people I figure it out. I got it. Okay. So I know. Sorry, the, spoiler. So, okay. <laughs> so there's a pattern on the wall here, and then we've got to try and match up to the pattern, which to begin with is quite easy, but it gets trickier and trickier. So whoever made this is fiendish. And then you've got to try and count, and you're like, mm -hmm. where have I got to jump? And you've got to try and aim. But there's five on the floor and four going up on the walls, which is what threw me the first time I did it. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't uh -huh, even notice tricky. that. Mm -hmm. This one I seem to remember is really tricky because it's sort of that double one in the corner yep. you don't realize is a double one yeah. that goes across. Ah, oh, it's so tricky. Oh, I, I love like escape room style puzzles, uh, so it's really I, I'm really hoping to see more stuff like this and, and even maybe more like traditional escape room stuff. They're so fun. Yeah, Good some jumping. people have made some really cool escape rooms actually. There's probably yeah. about three or four up on the beta already. I know. Really cool. Uh, and we are going to be doing these streams uh, weekly throughout the beta, so uh, we'll be able to show new stuff and 
um, show you how to do more stuff that John, uh, John's, but since he's been on the forums, is going to give you some like exact like people have been asking how to do this. Yeah. Uh, so okay. we'll show you how to do, do that lots stuff. Of tips and tricks today. Because we're going to sort of obviously move more into education streams to help you guys figure out how to do certain things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's uh, leave that one. Shout out to Kaduko. I was just about to say I didn't realise I never got past that part. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this one earlier, and this one is so. Oh, scary. this is so cool. Yeah, the so actually, is yeah, amazing. go on, go on. Yeah, you, I you love talk this. About so this is actually from um, there's a group in our community that's formed and has been formed for like months. Um, and they've been con they've been concepting their game for when dreams are yeah ready. and this is their first obviously this is the first, they've had all that done but they've needed a game so this is their first chance to use tools wow. and this is one of the creatures that we great. Find, be found it's terrifying in the game. it's really it's really impressive the game's going to be called Europa Descent that's oh. what I believe it's very yeah. exciting and actually in the collection we've got um, some of their ships that you'll find that you'll pilot or encounter that's throughout so the game cool. as well which is awesome scary. You, uh, can we go to the sh yeah, find yeah, the ships? Let's find I think it. I put them down the it? bottom. Uh, I think you the did. Uh, the left. There they are. That there. This one? Yeah. Yep. These and the, yeah, these are the character ships, which are just. I think the character ships. Sorry if I got that wrong. Um, I love. I love. Really I amazing. Also, this is a really cool. Like walk around like a showroom. Is yeah, I was actually, I thought it was really cool how many people built, um, you know, their own museums or sort of pedestals or yeah. um, how many people just lit everything really nicely around their yes. sculpts and like really made it to, to show off for other people. It may seem really obvious, but like we went into this not knowing <laughs> how anybody would do stuff. And um, it's been really cool. This is, okay, this is so funny. This is Our funny. whole studio sat around and watched this one get played the other day. This is a, this is a studio favorite. Yeah. As the dreams have been coming in, we've just been watching them in the studio. We have one big TV in the middle, so we can watch as they come in live. And whenever something really exciting comes in, you know, you, the whole studio is just gathered in the middle of the office playing. Honestly, one of the most one of my most favorite things is watching like all you guys react to these. <laughs> oh, like, what? So much fun. <laughs> you, you guys know this game in and out, but Oof. everyone's surprised you so far. World's softest mud. I like that. We got some comedians out there. <laughs> there were a lot of really funny uh, entries. Oh, have you guys seen the uh, the one with the cans, the shooting the cans, and the voiceover? No. Oh, this no. is going to be a surprise for you two then. And there's one okay. I've got to show okay. you on the screen. All if right. it's not already included on the thing, I there's found it last night, and it's so funny. There's so much stuff. Yeah. It's really difficult to even choose. Like, I know there's stuff that we've excluded in this stream that should probably on, be on here, but it's just been so much to choose from. So many, so many. Um, I love this. Eat the donut. Free will is an illusion. I think we should just choose that one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's definitely the right choice. Yes. Yeah. What's this scientist have to say? Did you just eat my quantum donut? <laughs> Question mark. Sure you voice that. Do you know what this means? Question marks. Well, I'm a scientist and I created quantum donuts you just ate. Eating a quantum donut has put you in a state of superposition in which you are both fat and skinny simultaneously. Well, that doesn't sound like real science. True. Follow me to my secret <laughs> lab and you will understand Legit. what I mean. You could remix this Wait, with voiceover. What? I could, I could, do, I could. Do. I could, yeah, I, we, we, we should message, I could be your voiceover artist. John, John Beach voiceover artist. Yeah, yeah. I do expect a cut of the royalties mm -hmm. and stuff. We'll just hire you out. Oh, oh I, can, I can be fat and or skinny. Oh, no. Oh, lava. You should have. I think you needed to be fat. Was that, was that a lava cookie I just fell into? Oh, no. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Curses. Also, the music is great. Yeah, the music. All the music in the creations is so so good. I, I really appreciate their uh, their work on their sort of uh, yep. branding here. Yep. This is very clever. Yep. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Give that one a like. Okay, let's see what else we've got in this collection first. Um, someone earlier made. Oh, Pukachu a, did this. Yeah, Pukachu yeah. Made an oh. uh, awesome level with a panda, and has put all these bits out for you to Like in a garden use collection. Remix, so like garden she, I think she yeah. said it was called Garden Vegetation. So uh, you can find this. I really. So I was really impressed by the greenhouse because I know people ask us all the time, like, how do you do transparency? There's not really transparency in uh, dreams, but and we've kind of been like, well, everything is how you how you figure out how to make it, and this is a really great example of that. Yeah. And we will have a little tip. I'll show you guys how that is done a bit later. Cool. That's so cute. Let's show some more of the characters. Yeah. There, oh, there's the characters a bunch of really great. fun ones in here. 
Okay, let's have a look. What's um, this one? Sug of a candy cookie. Okay, I chose this because Chelsea has a whole bunch of like really strange little dolls. That I love them, <laughs> and I love them. They just make me laugh, and they're really weird and funny. And she actually made a whole museum uh, to display her finished ones, and I just, I, I'm That's just a wonderful. fan. That is wonderful. They're strange like. and, and bizarre, and I, I love, love them. It. I love it. <laughs> just donut look at my legs okay uh this is a drawing uh i think not a character oh, just very cute oh, yeah. yeah that's really great Ooh. very uh mike pang very mike pang um and then i think if you go down oh show the stan lee one this oh, is yeah. so cool i like Tribute whoever did this lee. is yeah. really yeah, impressive this is just a sculpt um it's really beautiful i want to be able to take his glasses off and talk about excelsior you know i don't know why i sounded like a scientist then because that doesn't sound like sandy yeah no i don't know why either but it's, <laughs> it's my go-to voice it's my default voice it's really cool seeing people use the sculpt tools and that was uh, that yeah i thought that was lovely that from the Matted thumbnail, it jumped out at me. You know, I didn't s need to see the name. That was clearly obvious. Oh, the um, rake. The rake's a class. The rake, the rake yeah, was yeah. one of the first things that we saw in the game that was yeah. published. It's yeah, just absolutely. So this is, yeah, one of the very first things we saw. We have played this a lot. Yeah, everyone's uh, paying their respects to oh, Stanley. Oh, Stanley. Hey. Big respect, Stanley. <laughs> oof. I love the oof. DualShock battery low. <laughs> I think I'm getting whacked so much that the battery's going low. So you can stand here and oof yourself as much as you want and try and lose as many IQ points as you can. We could do this all day. You could do this all day until you are not very intelligent at all. Or you can try and exit and also lose more <laughs> IQ points as well. I <laughs> felt like the person before could only give us like four. We're done here. Um, I like um, Conmind. The, I've just seen oh, yeah. this one. made it is actually in the chat as well. Oh, okay. Let's play. Let's reset progress then. I haven't seen this one. I've I've seen it. I saw it mentioned on Twitter, but I haven't actually. Oh, seen I haven't one. played this yet either. Okay, difficult version. It's really, really good. Okay, okay, play. What do we do? How do R two. Okay, there we go. Okay. So what have we got to do then? Okay. Oh, we move up. So oh, I dropped both characters and. Oh wait, I did play this. Oh, you checked this yeah. out earlier. This is very. This is this uh, is very, very cool. Uh, this reminds me. There's a designer who used to work for us, Victor. And he made a level with the sackbots in LBP2, which was very similar to this. Success! Yeah. Great yeah. success. And then, yeah. Ooh, this one's like this. This is tricky. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, there we go. we got to go to about. Oh, yeah, all the way, all, all the, the way. way. Yeah. Ooh, so nerve wracking. Oh, oh, I just nice. I've only just realized it's, it's Connie. It's as Connie, well. so yeah. So clever. So oh. clever. Uh, uh. Uh, All right, don't spoil it for people who are going to be playing no, this good soon. Good point, good point. Give you a like. Thank you very much for that one. Um, what, I mean, oh, okay, so just go to Sheila. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're not going to play through the level that Sheila's a part of, because I think it's actually better just experience. Oh. <laughs> um, but oh. this character is amazing, and the level that they've created around the McBurger Palace is incredible. It's just a really well done uh, uh, character. We're just, we were pretty blown away by the level that goes with this too. So cool. um, the movement is amazing. The level's very cool. I kind of really can't wait to see where it goes. <laughs> Sheila. I love a lot of people. I, I love puppeteering with Sheila as well. She's yeah. just like, what's over there? The movement's awesome. Like, yeah, great movement. Yeah. And the level is so cool, so mm. uh, we won't spoil it for people. Yep. You should play. That's, it's that's just like it's just one. really odd and and cool. Okay, Very sort of Terry oh, Gilliam yeah. kind of vibes. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, polarity is cool. Oh polarity? yeah. This polarity. was the, this was the first game I think I saw right. uh, published that I saw. Person like uh, it's really cool. There's some there's a really nice mechanic in it where you can change yourself uh, different colors and you can reverse your polarity basically. So as you go around, you find these little sort of launch pads, and if you make yourself the same colour as the launch pad, it repels you, and if you make yourself the same, mm -hmm. the opposite colour, you get attracted to it, and you've got to use that to navigate your way through the level. It gets a lot harder later on. Yeah, so yeah we'll I just show bits, because yeah, we have yeah. a lot to get through. I want to show everything in our collection. Um, but everybody should check these out. You can visit this collection uh, in the beta. Um, we look what at next? Oh, what we next? Look at, uh, the Emperor Cat statue is really cool. I also want to look at the Badger. Okay, let's, 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 let's start, let's start going through the This is pretty like cool. Yeah. Like, the detail on this is amazing. Yep. That's lovely. Look at that. Emperor Cat. Good lighting as well. Good yeah. use of the lights. I like it. Nice oh, really neat. Just the level of detail on like, his armor. Yeah, it's wonderful. Love it. Love it. Give that a like. Give that a like. What else have we got? 
Oh, that's um, nice. yeah. Secret Dance Club is really cool. Oh, Secret Dance, yeah. I think I've been saying really that one. There's, yeah. It's just something very sweet about it. This is very cool. And it has been used in uh, a couple of, one of the ones we have in mm. here. Yeah, let's um, just quickly check that out. Set down, this yeah, yes. there. Very cool. The beach. I love that side view. Yeah. <laughs> nice. There we go, so we've got a cool 2D platformer. Can't go any further. So awesome. So awesome. There's so many cool things. Can we look at the badger? The badger, where's that? Scroll, go down a bit, down a bit, down a bit, down a bit. There he is. Oh, 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 Cranky Badger. Badger. Cranky Badger. Shout out to Cranky Badger. We love Cranky Badger. I lost. This like, made a lot of people's lists. Yeah, look at it. Precious. <laughs> so good. I am a Cranky Badger. <laughs> so good. Oh. The way it walks. <laughs> so good. So cranky. Much mm -hmm. more festive than cranky Momo Ferret. That's Very well done. That's a good name. Let's do. Let's go through some of our characters here. Oh, oh this is Tom's favorite. Uh, yeah, Bucket. So Plastic Duck 963. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It's so cool. I love the way the, the little run. antennas go down. Oh. Yeah, you run. It's just smart. And, like, it's something about just the design of it is so cool. Yeah, I love it. And the way his little head like goes forward. Yeah. Mm hmm. Very, very cool. A lot of love for Bucket in the chat. Plastic duck. Yeah, bucket, bucket is pretty is, cool. Bucket is amazing. Uh, also, Peachy the Penguin. penguin. Named after me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? No, I have no, no idea. Okay. No, oh, no okay. Idea. <laughs> Never mind. Now you have to listen to this. Beep, 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 beep. Give it, get, a, get a jump in. Oh. Shouts its own name. Oh, this, this is quite disturbing for me because most of my friends call me Beachy, so. And so uh, that is you. Yeah. Maybe it is because it's. Is that spelt the way? Yeah. Possibly a tribute to yeah, yourself. Possibly. Let's just call it. How will we spell, ever know? Yeah. How will we know? Um, oh my God! This one. <laughs> oh, this <laughs> crap oh, destroyer wow. of worlds. I I lulled a lot of this one. So you are you are this <laughs> awesome crab. <laughs> Demo? Question mark. And I'm just watching Tom Colvin, uh, our audio lead, who's over there doing our audio, like watching this, going, <laughs> laughing. And the idea is you've just got to basically destroy as much as you can while collecting the little tiny crabs that are lying around. So we blast those to start the level. Here we go, go. So I've got to get the little crabs. And the more things you smash, the more powerful you get. And there's not so much to destroy on the beach. But when you get up into the town, let's get right up into the town. You can destroy like everything. Let's take the trees out. I love the little pal that comes up. Yeah. Take, the, take that, cars. This is a game I've always been dreaming of. <laughs> yeah. I love the ways where you do like left, right punches. Where you're like left, right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> fire hydrant. <laughs> Don't need a fire hydrant anymore. Fences. You know everything. Oh, you found a crab. <laughs> Good luck. You Good. did the objective. <laughs> There was another one behind you, but I'm not going to tell you how to, <laughs> no, how to play Crab Man Destroyer of Worlds. Worlds. That's, I love that one. That's, oh. And this one, this one's on. Oh, this, oh, this is really yeah. good. You can tell we've been playing all yeah. of these. We really have played. We've, they're so great. So this person's made a, whoop, uh, like it's like a four by four adventure game. Yeah. What's really great is you can get an inside view and the sound, I know you can't hear this here, but it, it's coming out of the controller now. Oh, it's amazing. Cool. I'll put it next to my mic here. <laughs> I, it's just, it just makes me so I'm happy. So you know what? One of the things that we don't really show in this collection um, that we should highlight in a future one is like a lot of people have just sort of made mechanics and yeah. have really, you know, made a lot of the logic for other people to use. Yeah. And there's some really cool examples of that. Um, it's really nice how people have been putting a lot of helpful stuff in uh, for everybody that'll be joining. Yeah, it's really lovely. The, the community, you guys have all pulled together so much to do so many cool things for each other. Uh, it's blown my I've mind. i got some crazy drift on this Super Jeep. Drift. It. And it, this one goes on for quite a long time. Yeah, it does. Level it's links a load of levels together. Yeah, and it's, it's more really, more really like interesting. It's really, really lovely. Uh, jump souls. You oh, try yeah. your hand at oh, jump oh, souls. So hard. <laughs> I can't do this. So hard. <laughs> Tom, I Tom tried. tried like I tried 20 so times much. before how far, this stream. How far did you get? Not very far. Okay. I, you could have done yeah. worse. Yeah, okay. I mean, you could have done better. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's, 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 that's okay. He died there first, too. Nice. It, get, it gets so hard. It's ridiculous. And they, they, they trick you on so many times. So you're like, oh, God. <laughs> now you got to wait for the reset. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, okay. 
Okay, and this one, this one tricks you, so you got to do a big jump and then ah, oh, still. Can't do it. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, too I hard, too time. hard. <laughs> I did get further earlier, but it's amazing. Nice. It's yeah. so difficult. Wow. Uh, what else do we really have? Oh, oh, oh! I oh, love. Yeah. Oh, I this love is this really cool. impressive. Oh, we got really, some, like, we got really like, impressive. Different ones as well now, because we got this and the. Uh, yeah, there's so many different chaotic. vibes as well. Let's drink some alcohol. Some some soda. Some, some, soda some green water. soda. Refreshment. <laughs> It's like Ooh. um, um the look out the window. Inverse fizzy, and what's out the window? Let's have a look. Love the music for this. I so just <laughs> so beautiful. I'm so impressed by this. Mm. Yeah, me too. I love that one. So clever. Starry night. The chaotic pendulum is cool as well. Oh, this That's is really cool. It's super, oh, this is like just a really simple sort of. Uh, uh, it's just a cool. big shout out to Fort Achi. He's been making lots of logic things for you to use. So if you guys are sort of stuck on logic, Fort has actually been doing some really cool stuff. Oh, so cool. thank you for that, Fort. It's like a super nerdy math thing to do is chaotic pendulums, and they just make these really, really cool patterns. Yeah, just I still can't, I mean, here, like yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hypnotized. Yeah. Thank you, Fort, for that. Well, uh, in Paris. Oh, yeah, this is just like a scene. I love this. It's just a really beautiful scene, and it looks like uh, starting out in Paris. My parents were actually on their way to Paris, and so I showed them this, and then we sort of remixed it um, and, you know, made it more impressionistic, and oh. you can really have fun with everybody's creations yeah so many people have been really generous with their things actually and publishing lots of their stuff to be remixable yeah, yeah. they're just playable that's really wonderful for yeah. you to do that it's really nice what that you're else, sharing what all else stuff. do we have grape escape grape escape oh granny snail where, oh, oh god I'm granny so, snail oh, down where? down it's great as oh, well granny snail Granny sounds so good granny snail it's a good name as well this is so cute oh, oh, oh look at that oh, look at that little walking oh. stick oh you come the, here, There is man. the art of the walk in dreams, I find. Costa and I were talking about it. There are so many different oh. walks now. There are. Yeah. There are. It's just so good. It's so good. Finding the walks is wonderful. Diamond, Diancy. Diancy 10. Uh, cool. Oh, yeah, the little, I put this in. I love these little, uh, somebody else did a bunch of these sort of like little felted looking creatures. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's like them. a felted creature. I know. I There's a couple before. of these. Uh, That's wonderful. They're really sweet. That's wonderful. I love them. I hope... You're all loving this out in the, on the Twitch at the moment. There's the chimp at uh, the top there. Oh, the chimp, yeah. yeah. That more. was cool. Uh, okay. Your sculpture. It's been really that. interesting to see what people are doing with sculpture. What I love here is they've set up a camera as well to fly around to, to show it off to its best yeah. light, which I really like. Yeah, people have put a lot of thought into presentation. On that note, we should look at Stranded. Ah, uh, yes, definitely. Stranded. Go to Stranded. Which one's that? Um, what are we looking at? Right next to Chaotic Pendulum down there. Yeah. 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 So... Oops. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. I've got to reset. Progress. Reset. Rewind. Oh, rewind to leave. Reset to progress. That's better. So you're a big fan of this one, aren't you, Abby? Yeah. I mean, I think I love the little character. I think it's really charming. Um, but also, what I like so much about this, uh, and I've noticed a lot of people doing this in the uh, beta, is they've basically made uh, teasers and, and trailers and stuff for games that they're working on and making, and I think that's fun. We're going to all hound you about release dates, Media Molecule, uh, where the yeah. tables will be turned. We'll We're coming yeah. after you. Um, but it's so clever. I love that people have, have made like I teasers. Love I love it. I love so it. smart. Talking of which, there's one. Oh, you missed the teaser part at the end. Oh, it's oh, stranded coming stay. in. Oh, that was like the whole point. Continue, oh. continue. Continue it. Can I continue? Oh, can should, continue? Should you send you? No, it goes. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Well, stranded is coming it's soon. It's, it's coming, it's coming soon. soon. Sorry. I didn't know how long it was. No, that's okay. It's a oh, short, so but it's like a teaser. And then it, you know, so anyway, thank you. That is, I, I just thought that was. <laughs> really cool. Um, yeah, cool okay so obviously people want to see rock hero which yeah. is so impressive this yeah this one is very it's, go, very it's gonna cool. be so hard to play it without being able to hear it but let's give it a go oh yeah that's right we can't really that's hear okay. the tv it's okay okay good luck john thank you okay oh there's a couple there's of tracks two songs i'm gonna go for the easy one because okay, cool. i can't hear very much so okay let's see if i can i can't remember that. here we go so they're, they're the controls okay i got it i got it
failing so hard. I should say that we've sort of filed this in our heads <laughs> under homage, as, as it's yeah. uh, very cool, but unlikely to be mistaken for uh, the real <laughs> thing. That said, um, you know, things can be removed from uh, dreams for copyright violations, yeah. and we do actually take mm -hmm. that seriously, and so does Sony. So um, please be careful. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A fair few um, like, new people in the chat as well. Um, if well, you this is another. Us, uh, uh, our the sign up links are on our mm -mm. Twitter, our Facebook page, and our FAQ page on our website. Uh, you just follow the link to the corresponding uh, PlayStation region. Container Adventure. Like oh, Container Adventure is really charming. Oh, yeah. Open the doors. Move the wood. So much wood. Let's get it out of the way. What's inside? Oh, a little... It's like a mini little world. It's like a little so world charming. inside the container. I know. It's so cool. It looks wonderful. It's lovely to see people messing around with scale as well, which is what yeah. James is really good at. It's so cool to see all the different art styles that you know people have in their I'm so minds. Happy to see it all. Oh. Um, this one, I, this one looks beautiful as well. Mm. It's similar to Rich, and this is actually what I said earlier that I'd seen people use Rich's tree mm. that's been used in here. I think everyone was impressed with the double glazing. Yes, the <laughs> double glazing. <laughs> yeah. That is double glazed. Yeah, that is definitely double glazed. Look at it. You can definitely tell because when you open it, you can actually see the double glaze in there, Lex. So oh, like yeah. Actually, actually double glazed. Could, can you tell John was a builder? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's wonderful. It's just gorgeous. Makes me feel cold. <laughs> and also want to go snowboarding as well. <laughs> Um, so yeah, as you can see, we've got neon mancers. so many so much. neon so mancers. Many pretty cool. Um, Where's that? Where's that? Uh, up, 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 up by Pixel. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 I don't spoil this one for people, but get to the yeah. second part of it. Okay, you tell me when to stop. Okay. Because I haven't. Played okay, no, either. no. Go out the door. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> oh yeah, the door. <laughs> I love that camera angle. I think it looks awesome. I love the way it's. Yes. Oh, spooky. This is really fun, leading someone with lights as well. Ah! It's okay. Find the lights. Find the lights. Everyone's very angry at John for not closing the door in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is an animal. I was me. born in a barn. He was. Given all the facts I know about you, John, who knows? I mean, maybe that's true. We don't okay. know. <laughs> no, no, no one knows. I probably formed by osmosis at some point, somehow, from somewhere. <laughs> so mysterious. Yeah, but like, wait, there's a whole second. It's okay, when you go through this door, yeah. this is what I wanted to show, because I just thought this was so incredibly clever. Um, how they did it in <laughs> dreams. Oh, wow, look at that. I haven't seen this yet. Either. Oh, you oh, haven't? Oh, wow. Okay. I thought, Isometric, that's Play so a whole cool. game of this. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, that's amazing. Yeah. Don't spoil for people. There's yeah, a whole other. Cool, so there's actually yeah. a whole third section cool, to this. Yeah. And that's it's just very a very cool. cool. It's, very it, cool. it has like yeah. a, an end Heavy and everything. Brown. It's really, really very, enjoyed that. Very, very awesome. Um, the, the grape escape is great as well. Yeah, so we really enjoyed there. that. Oh, I wanted to quickly show this oh, one yeah. as well. This is cool because Dream oh, yeah. Dash is the thing we gave away. And then someone has remixed this in a catastrophic way. And I love how they've even changed the time at the top, <laughs> which is really great. Um, and all it is is like they've made it, they've, it's like the same layout of the level, but as if some kind of catastrophe has happened. I love it. So if you're oh, familiar with the level, so you know the route. Cool. It's like the same route. Wow. But in ruins. I hadn't seen this yet. Yeah, it's so cool. I love it. That's so and awesome. They've, is the music yeah, they've, like they've, they've changed the sound. It's kind of going like meh and like broken and stuff. And it's obviously it's like amazing. trickier. But I love it. I love it so much. Yeah. Oh. oh. And 
you know what? We will uh, keep updating these collections, too, because I think there's a whole bunch of stuff, uh, some of the more logic pieces and some of the music, which doesn't show as well in the stream, but it's been really amazing. Mm. Um, so we'll keep updating this with cool uh, stuff we found. Oh, wait, Sassy, uh, what's the uh, Sass Pup? Sass Pup. <laughs> Love Sass Pup. Hello, Sass. Oh, my God. So sassy. So sassy. And has oh. different, uh, oh. has controls. Oh. So controls? you can do, like, okay. Pose, upset, reset, surprise. Reset, upset, happy, surprised. Okay. <laughs> it's just really so cute. <laughs> That's Sass wonderful. Pup. Look at that. I'm so sassy. It's, yeah. it's the swaying in there. <laughs> I love it. That's absolutely um, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, so, John, I think it's probably a good time to transition into you uh, talking yes. about some of the stuff yeah. that you've seen in the uh, forums on InDreams.me and maybe showing people some of the techniques and stuff that they've been asking about. Um, if you have missed any part of this stream, um, we are... Oh, thanks, Guilford. Uh, <laughs> uh the signups are live. You can find them on our blog and on our Twitter page right now. There's one. If you connect to the U.S. store, then you're going to use the U.S. signups one. If you connect to the EU store, um, you're going to connect to the EU one. Yes, it does include the U.K. We haven't still still part of <laughs> Europe. Um, so, uh, and the, the beta is going to run through the 21st of January right now is the plan. Um, it is covered by an NDA. It is closed, but there is lots of space. We want to, you know, test our servers, uh, see lots more creations, get a lot more feedback. Um, it's been really helpful so far in, uh, you know, finding some stuff that we want to work on and we want to fix. And we'll keep you updated about, uh, you know, changes that will come after that. And, yeah, yeah, we're super excited to have everybody in. And, and so like that so. collection is obviously, like you said, it's just like a pocket. Of everything. A tiny made. little. We've yeah, so many. We have a number of bit. how much has been published. Oh, really? Yeah, so we've been running for what two weeks now? Like it's since yeah, two weeks. Barely, yeah. Yeah, we've had <laughs> over. Uh, we've had four thousand five hundred and seventy-three things wow. published. Whoa. In June. So wow. if you aren't seeing stuff, that's that was about twenty-five, perhaps a handful compared to everything. Oh wait, that's together. amazing. Oh yeah. So uh, earlier. It's we remembered. We remembered. <laughs> Last <laughs> minute that it's our birthday. It's our birthday. It's <laughs> MM's 13th birthday. 13. Happy birthday, everyone. Happy birthday. So John made a cake, and he's going to publish it in the Dreamiverse right now, so uh, you could decorate it or, you know, break it apart to a level or, I don't know, yeah. be creative. Yeah. It's all one group, and then you can go in and you can move the little bits individually, and you can go in and sculpt on it. So I would love to see some remixes of this mm. used and yeah. decorated and, you know, more exciting maybe some sparklers on the top or something i don't know i don't know it's up to you go crazy go, go. publish it so let's publish it now live uh and you can find this under the mm dream queen account um which is sort of our main we'll be posting a lot of stuff from there uh and cool things and collections uh and awesome stuff that we want you to find it's an auto follow when you get into dreams so that makes it easy and uh there now there's a birthday cake happy Everyone. birthday us Everyone, happy birthday thanks for the birthday us. wishes <laughs> appreciate it yeah. um we're cool okay so we're going to do like some tips and tricks and stuff uh, based on some things that i've learned in the um the forums the chats mm -hmm. uh, if you pe people on twitch are watching on twitch if you have questions as well try and throw them through obviously we can't answer everything but we'll try and cover as many things as we can. And don't worry, we'll be doing more Twitches with more lessons and trying yep. to we'll get Yeah, we'll be doing speed. a stream every uh, week uh, that the beta is running and, and probably one after um, so that we can show lots of stuff and keep telling you how to do cool stuff in dreams. Absolutely. Okay, so I am going to... Lots of people ask about the character and how to do characters and lots of things to do with characters very specific things about characters and because we don't really have a character tutorial so i wanted to cover a few basic things with the character uh the tips and stuff i'm going to show you at the moment some of them are going to be quite sort of small and full of little details so you know it's not going to be like really exciting so to speak but if you're in the beta you'll want to come back and watch these and how i did them i'll try and remember and tell you what controls and everything i'm pressing so hopefully this will answer a lot of questions that you've all had out there. Yeah. I will be using a mix of the DualShock and the moves. I'll tell you which ones I'm using and why I've swapped them at certain times because I, I like using both because mm -hmm. it's just part of my role. Um, but without further ado, let's talk about characters. So I then went into make a new character. And this character, because it's blue, is our more advanced puppet. We call them puppets. What's the difference between the advanced and the default? That's a very good question. Let's get them both out. So 
this one has a bunch of things already inside to do animations for jumps and it follows things around. It's got a load of clever things that we've designed into it. So it's a bit more complex if you wanted to look inside and figure out how its logic works. You know, if I open up its logic here, there's like a few more things mm. to, okay. to hang around with. But if you're just getting started, the best one to start on is this one. This is called the Deluxe Puppet, which you can find up here. You see you've got the Blank Puppet Deluxe and the Blank Puppet Basic. But the Deluxe one is a good one if you just want to sculpt stuff on top because yeah. it has a load of cool, useful things out of the box. But if you want to make a completely custom with all kinds of unique runs and jumps and stuff, then the blank one, the, not the blank one, the basic one is the one you want to look at. Okay. So that's the difference between the two of them. So just because this one says basic, it doesn't mean that's the one you should start with when you're starting. It's probably best to start with the deluxe one. Okay. So, yeah. Um, one question that I, I strangely came mm. up three times independently was how do I put a hat on a puppet. Hats are cool. And everyone found it was broken in different ways. Someone's like, oh, it fell off or it kind of bobbed around or it did strange stuff. So I'm going to show you how to put a hat on a puppet. So the first thing we want to do is get a hat or make a hat. So let's make a hat. You, yeah, let's make a hat. Let's make a hat. So okay. I'm going to use the moves to make a hat. So as I do this, we might be transitioning <clears> into other lessons because I'm going to use the moves now so I can show you some stuff to do with moves. Okay, so dual shock down. In fact, I'll put the dual shock on charge while we're waiting. On charge. There we go. Okay, so I've got the moves because I prefer the moves personally for sculpting mm -hmm. things. So to sculpt, we're going to go into our modes. Um, Everybody on the stream is asking you to make Obama. <laughs> what? John is what? not yeah, really an artist. No. <laughs> He's more of a designer. So we're going to spare him trying to do like detailed face things on yeah, the stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. But th that said, when you were in the beta, you are welcome to it do it. It would probably become offensive if I started to try and do something, <laughs> a, a likeness of someone. They would start getting offended real quick. <laughs> Don't make a likeness so, of no, me. No, I'm I plan on being offended. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already offended. Okay. So when you go into... You make a good shark, oh, though. I can make a good yeah. spider shark. Good spider shark is pretty great. Spider, spider shark is probably... <laughs> probably probably the best thing that you've done um when you come into sculpt mode you uh often end up with a shape on the end and for a hat i've chosen cylinder because we're going to make like a nice round hat and with the move controllers you can tap the two ends together i don't know if you can see me do this but you tap the two glowing ends together it was like shark hat which honestly i can't disagree you with <laughs> non-uniform scale your primitive here so i can squish it down to make it nice and thin like this and this is going to be the bottom because i'm going to make like a top hat I think so I'm going to stick one there and then I want the big tool bit in the middle and there's a couple of ways I can do this one I could non-uniform scale it and make it bigger like that which is a pretty easy way of doing it but another way if you've made it too short to begin with say you've done something like this and you're like oh man I want that to be taller you can use we've got all these different tools and one of them is called a stretch tool and you can click on that and you can stretch up and down to make it longer or shorter which is really nice for making a nice big hat and while you're in this mode you can not the stretch mode while you're in sculpt mode if you don't have a shape in your hand you can move things around like that so let's move that so it's in mm -hmm. the center and then i want to like round the top off here and the way i like to do that is make sure you're in stamp mode because it won't work if you're in spear mode choose a shape i tend to use square in this case and with the moves, if you tap the bottom of the right move into the top of the left move, it goes into oh, subtract. Yep. If you can't remember to do that or you don't have the moves, you can go here and you can click between positive and negative. So now I've got the subtract, and it would usually just cut you know, a big chunk out of it. But because I'm in um, stamp, I can use soft blend. So mm -hmm. I can just turn up soft blend a little bit. People are asking, around. can you do all this stuff with the DualShock? Yes, you absolutely can, yeah. Um, I will, what I'll do I just is, use the DualShock. What I'll do is as we go, I'll swap between DualShock and moves to show different things at different Great. times. Yeah. But we already have um, tutorials, I believe, for DualShock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So lots of you out there will know how to use the DualShock more than you will know how to use the move. So I will do most of the sculpting using moves for the people who haven't used or there isn't any tutorials for it. Mm. Cool. And then I will use DualShock at times just to show you that you can do yeah. it with both. Okay. I, I, I like the thing of uh, Mark, our creative director, has, has used DualShocks exclusively yep. while working mm -hmm. on games as well to make sure everything is possible. Yeah, people have a different, you know, different preferences. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of ways we can paint this as well because we've got this white hat now. So one of the ways, a really simple way, is you can tweak it 
by pressing in this particular case L1 or shift we call it because it's triangle on the moves and square and you automatically open up the tweak menu for the sculpture and up here we have a tint amount oh and I must this is really important and Lucy who works here at MM she's amazing she's gone around and if you hover over pretty much anything in the game for a couple of seconds it comes up with information how to use that I can't stress how valuable that is because if you can't <laughs> remember or you don't know how something works just hover over it and it gives you some nice um, suggestions on how to use it as well so it's really good for learning so make sure that you hover over like literally if you hover over anything if you hover over all of the the buttons it tells you what they are and comes yeah. up with more information so that's really really cool. people were asking about the difference between the dual shocks and the move controllers and you know i guess the big one is that moving in 3d space um that the uh, move controllers allow you to do uh is really simple it's really nice for yep. sculpting yep. i think if you are really interested in the sculpting side of dreams and you really want to make like awesome stuff like that it's a it's it's really cool to learn the move controllers for yep. um if you're less interested if you're more interested in making gameplay and uh and other stuff it, you know obviously the dual shock's great for that yep. and audio and and everything else definitely yeah so for, for me the reason i like using the moves just like abby says is you can you can move in z so in and out of the screen and I can rotate and move simultaneously which is a bit harder to do with the dual shock so it's not as brilliant for sculpting it can still do everything the moves can do but what the moves can do is do them at the same time so yep. all it's doing is like <coughs> doubling up on functions at the same time so that's why I like using it because I can yeah. go faster basically okay so I've I've made my hat red here by turning up its tint to maximum and then choosing a color that's one way of doing it but a couple of people I've noticed on the forum have then got confused because they've they've done this, which is great, and then they've gone back into their model and they've gone to paint mode over here and they've chosen, say, black, I don't know, and they're trying to paint black on and they're like, right. oh, it, it doesn't <coughs> do anything. That's because this model has been fully tinted one color. So what I'm going to do is just stamp a black square that's invisible now. Okay. If I go back out and I untint it, you can see uh, where the black okay. square was. So if you want multiple colors on your sculpt, use the paint tool in sculpt mode. Yeah. If you just want it to be one color, it's often easier to just come here and change that one. So a lot of people I know have been getting confused by that. So multicolor, sculpt, single color, tweak menu. Uh, someone was asking if uh, things that they say privately will transfer over to the full game. Um, I th I'm pretty sure things that you haven't published, but we'll have to check on that. Yeah, that is a question for the server people. I am, um, yeah, that's one I do not know. Okay, so I'm just going to add. That's fine. We will send out, like, warnings about that kind of stuff if it's not going to. So we'll make sure that everybody knows. I don't know why I went for this color scheme. I have no idea. But it's nice. It's kind of inspired me. Striped hat. Okay, we have our hat. It's not hollow, so I'm going to hollow it out for perfectionism. So let's use a nice circle shape, and we can just cut out uh, a nice shape there. And if you're using the moves, yes, you do need the PlayStation camera, um, but otherwise, no, if you're using the DualShock. Um, but it is great for uh, importing your voice and making instruments. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we have our hat. And unfortunately, you can't just put it there and hope it works because what happened is when we go into play mode, you can see the character just right. isn't attached to it at the moment. And what I found or seen on the <coughs> forums is what some people have managed to do is go inside the puppet. And you do that by when you're holding something, you hold shift L1 on mm -hmm. the DS4 and triangle on the moves on your left hand and X and you scope in once. What I'm actually going to do is to make that more obvious for everyone, is on the preferences here, there's visual feedback, and I'm just gonna put it up to maximum, basically. And that allows you to see when you've scoped into something, because outside of the scope, everything becomes gray. So you can see I've scoped in, and if I scope into the head, you can see the head's the only thing that's blue. This will help yeah. you understand. I turn it off personally because it's easier for me as an artist to see how things match together and I'm used to the scoping system but if you're new to this it's probably best. Oh now you're an artist but not when you have to sculpt people's faces. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. I'm different kind of artist yeah. you see different kind of artist. Um, <laughs> so yeah they've they've 
we've stuck it inside the puppet, but if we play, what ends up happening is it kind of looks like something like this, which isn't quite what people had in mind when they had right. a hat for their character. So what you need to do is stick it on the character's head. So all you need to do is the same step we did to get the hat into the puppet by grabbing it and moving into the puppet. But we've just got to do that again, but on the head. So now you can see, because of the color, that these two are linked together nicely. Put the hat on. Now when we're in play mode, we can run around and we've got ourselves a hat. I'm just waiting for the moves to go to sleep. There we go. <laughs> we've got a lovely, lovely hat. He uh, wears it well, John. It does, it does. Um, other people have also asked how to... Can you bring in things that they made earlier, you know, and stick it on the puppet? And it's almost exactly the same as I did with the hat. I mean, essentially, it is as you can either search from where you are now. So, oh, look, chainmail, physical. That would be nice to use, but I imagine because it's physical, it's going to flop all over the place. So I'm mm. just going to... What can we find that can... Let's, like a tree, there's bound to be a tree, right? Yeah, there's trees. a lot of trees now. A lot of trees. Trees is like the thing that is like the go-to to make, isn't it? So, okay, so we've got this cool tree, and we want it to be inside the character. Because when I searched for it, I was outside of the character. I've got to now go inside the character. Yeah. And then, say, inside the body to stick it to the body. But if you already happen to be inside the character when you did the search, it appears at the level you're in. Hmm. So you've, when you're bringing stuff in from search, just be aware of what scope level you're in. And then you'll know, because that's where lots of things go wrong, because people have just scoped in, not far enough in or too far out. Uh, so now I'm just going to stick the tree on... Well, let's stick it on the character. On the hat, head. yeah. That makes, that makes total Obviously. sense. Obviously. <laughs> As does everything we've seen in Dream so far. There we go. Cool. Great. We've made a tree uh, hat man. See how that works. <laughs> tree hat. There we go. Okay. So we've got a nice tree hat. That's. I'm quite. I'm quite pleased with that. Actually. Yeah. And the yeah. motion on the tree. Is <laughs> the motion on tree. Yeah. Person made helpful. those leaves physical. That which is really really great. Uh, nice. Another problem that I've noticed people have come across quite a lot is they've done all the steps that I've just done and think, oh, why isn't it working? Because they've at some point set their object that they brought in to be movable. So over here, there's all these different pos uh, tweaks. You can say whether it's collidable or not. But they've set it to be movable, thinking they need it to be movable yeah. to move around with the character. What movable does to explain to everyone is it really means not glued to the group. Movable just means right. it's like so clicking it on or off means glued to the group. In this case, the group is the head. So ticking it off means I'm no longer glued to the head, and you end up in a situation where the hat falls off like no. that, you see, which is, happens quite a bit. So if you're wondering why your hat or your objects are falling off your character, check whether they've been set to movable, which is in the tweak right. menu of the sculpture, on the one that looks like the Newton's Cradle, and then we've also turned that off, and then you'll be golden. Awesome. Okay. Um, what some people don't realize as well is you can reproportion your puppets. So when we're inside the puppet, if you go to our tools yep. and there's a stretch, you can get that and you can grab any part of the character and you can stretch it around yep. to reproportion <coughs> the character, which is super handy for making some super odd or cool characters. And then you can repose them as well. Do that. Okay. I have no idea what monstrosity I'm making. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure how this is going to go. I think it's going to be so awesome when I finish. And it's like a weird bunny legged. Some, I, I don't. Uh, nightmares. Hide the legs. Let's move those oh. legs. Oh. That oh. looked painful. That did look painful. There we go. Oh, I realize it's because I didn't. <laughs> I came out, that's why. I will talk about that in a second. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and it will make sense. <laughs> okay, cool. So we've made our character now, which is some kind of strange... Weird, strange... <laughs> oh. 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 oh! It's quite exciting, though. But it's just to show <laughs> that you can, you can repose your legs and proportions to get an interesting character. Mm. Yeah. Now, if you repo repoportion them too oddly, 
they may not move how you expect. So you may right. have to fiddle around. Yeah, there have been bit. some questions about how do I, you know, prevent that from uh, disrupting the walk yeah, yeah. Uh, animations and stuff like that. Um, with the moves and the DS4, there's two ways you can move the puppet. One is called IK, uh, inverse kinematics, which means as I grab the hand, the arm kind of works out where it's got to bend to move the hand to where you're trying to position mm -hmm. it, which is really nice. Um, but we also have something called FK, which is forward kinematics. Uh, with the moves, you've got to tap the controllers as if you're going between positive and negative. And what that means is, as I twist it, it just twists the joint I'm on and right. nothing else. And this is really good for doing certain keyframe stuff, because sometimes when you grab the hand, the arm doesn't actually bend to where you want it. It's yeah. trying to figure out where it is. So you may want to get more accurate. So FK is really good. And in the case of the dual shock, just so everyone knows, is if you grab it with R2, which is how you grab most things, that's uh, IK. And if you grab it with L2, which is like rotation, that's FK. So it's really good for when you're doing keyframes. I personally like using FK because I kind of like move everything like this and then keyframe it where I want, which is really, really nice. Cool looking character. OK. Yeah. You can also sculpt directly onto your character as well. Um, when you scope into anything, if you eventually sculpt down to something that is a sculpt, you will go straight into sculpt mode. So if I go to the head and one more time go inside, I'm now in sculpt mode of the head. Now with a head, it's really good if you turn on the mirror mode, because you can use that to make symmetrical heads, as most heads are symmetrical. Well, slightly off. I mean, like if we're going to get scientific. Yeah, about. exactly. Symmetrical-ish. <laughs> so let's turn on mirror. And you can see our little mirror planes come up there. If you don't, once you know where the mirror is, you can actually come here and you can make that mirror mode, that plane invisible. And we can use that mm -hmm. to start sculpting into the head. Uh, What's your plan for this? I've, um, you know, um, <laughs> no, I. Yeah, no, that's yeah. looking. That's yeah, that's looking oh, good. So many people are asking. Anime you eyes, picturing. anime <laughs> eyes, John, please. <laughs> Let's do some anime oh, eyes. Yeah. So I've just used a bit of soft blend. And steampunky. Yeah, steampunky. <laughs> it does not fit with what John is making at all, so it's going to be perfect. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and you can just use lots of shapes. I'm using soft blend here to blend everything together. And I've just used a oh. couple of simple shapes to make like some kind of gas mask, I guess. Squid face with squid anime face. eyes. Give him tentacles and oh, then yes, anime tentacles. eyes. Oh, yeah. Tentacles. Oh, my. <laughs> Everyone's asking what's happening. I love live creating with John <laughs> so <laughs> much. So we're going to do some anime eyes. Yeah. We were at PAX West this year, <laughs> and we would just name two animals and make John mash them up in like 10 minutes into a new super animal. It's probably the most fun I've had in dreams, I'll be honest. And I only had 10 minutes every time. It was yep. so much fun. And it always ended up with anime eyes, so that was really handy. So I'm going to turn off my mirror, because I don't need a mirror for a single eye. So I'm just going to make <laughs> one eye, a nice white eye, and I'm going to use painting to do all the details on it. So if we put it into paint mode. And then we choose a nice colour, maybe like purpley pink colour, or <coughs> dark one to begin with. Okay. You can also uh, soft blend the paint as well. So the same as soft blending the the sculpts, you can soft blend the paint, so you can get some nice sort of fades like that. And then unsoft blend it. There it is. And then I always like adding the little. You know, the little white bits to look like it's shiny. Oh. I've missed that eye. <laughs> I know. It's been a while. Thanks, John. So, so cute. And then, of course, you can make it shiny. Um, in If you tweak a sculpture, a bit like, you know, when we were changing the tint earlier, you can change things like how shiny it is. So let's make it nice and shiny, because eyes are shiny. OK. so. Because I was building sculpting already in the group of the head, yes. it's stuck to the head, so we don't have to actually bring it in or out. It's already in the right place. And all we have to do is <laughs> You've made this beautiful nightmare so cute. <laughs> and then we can just clone it across like that. And we have a nice anime eye character head. What is the shortcut for soft blend? Oh, yeah, so yeah. oh the shortcut uh, with the moves. Uh, so let's actually... So I think we all have this problem where we're used to doing things, yeah, and you're like, yeah, what yeah, did yeah. I hit? Just say the words out loud. So once we're in, when we're in sculpt mode, it only works with stamp um, and uh, spray paint and looseness as well, but not with smear. So when you've got a thing out to smear, 
what you do is on the left, your offhand move controller, you hold square and you twist your controller left and right like this. You can also change it to hard blend mode by pressing triangle on the right controller. Now what's really awesome is you'll notice here that whatever mode you're in, you can see it actually tells me what buttons to press. So you can see over on the left there, it's got looseness and blend. So I can hold square and now it's saying twist to do the hard blend. Over on the right, it says press triangle to switch blend mode. So I can do all the... It's covered by the video. It's covered by the video. Yeah. Oh, okay, so who's... Oh, the video. Oh, that video. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah I see what <laughs> Costa technical support here is helping. So you can see it actually comes up with all the tips that you need to do to soft blend or hard blend things here. So when you're in sculpt mode, just make sure you refer to those. Um, if you haven't got them for some reason, what you have to do is go into your preferences, and it says here how to put on prompts and things like this, so you can find out where everything is. Cool. Show more info. Show prompts. Do not turn show more info off, it's really good. In fact, Lucy's here who- Lucy, who wrote that, all the tips, is so staring Lucy. at us, it's making sure we don't tell Lucy. anybody. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> Keep the tips on. Aww. Lucy will hurt us. Um, someone asked on the forums as well how you make hair. And this is a good example where we can make hair or tentacle things. So let's do a bit of both. <coughs> Shout out to anyone joining the stream now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is, while I'm scoped in far enough into the head, because I want the tentacles to be attached to the head, and you can see, because, again, the head is all nice and colourful and the background is not, I'm going to go into paint mode. And I'm going to paint myself some kind of tentacle. Let's see, I kind of, what colour do we think it should be? Pink? Pink, yeah. Yeah, why yeah, not? Why why not? not? Why this not? is a day of bold choices. And I'm just going to, in fact, over here, there's different types of paint modes you have. Stamp just stamps down a single splat. This one, the the less you press the trigger, the more transparent it goes. So you can have it really thick yes. or you can have it really nice. faint, which is really good. But for tentacles, I want the this one, which is the harder or softer you press it, the thinner or thicker the strokes no. are. So that's really good right. for making tentacles because I can kind of go like thick and then thin like that. It's great. And then I want one on the other side, I guess. As well. Oh no, in fact, we'd use one and we're just going to clone it. So what would happen now when we went into play mode is it would just be sort of stuck to the to our character's head like that. It doesn't <laughs> particularly look tentacly at the moment. So just all the strokes have lots of like tweak menus and stuff to use with them. So what you want to do is go into it and tweak it, go to the physical page and make it physical. And what this will do is make it nice and loose and wibbly and wobbly, turn up the floppiness a lot, maybe turn a bit of gravity on so it's falling down. There we go, that looks good. Oh, maybe too much. It's fallen a little bit too far. And you can even put on some wind. Oh, it is falling a long way, isn't it? I think that's because I drew some strokes earlier inside of it. Ah, uh, yeah. So now it thinks where it's attached is not where it really is, which is a problem you may have. So whenever you get problems like this, I'll try and explain it, is because I made those other strokes earlier, mm -hmm. it, it's not sure where the beginning of that stroke right. is anymore. So these are problems you may encounter. If stuff like this happens, you can sometimes fix it, but it's often, it's so easy to make things that you can just make it again. In fact, I just yep. used the, the DS4 to do this. So let's get the paint mode out. And I'll draw the same one again. Hmm. Oops, I've got to get it on the right tool. There we go. And thin. And now we just want to put that so it's at the right place in the head. Scale it down. Truly an artist, John. Thank you. It looks kind of more like a mustache. I'm it go, does, yeah. Yeah, gonna go with that now. Yeah. I've, I've already. He's like it. Yeah. This is the great that, thing about that, James that. is that you know the making one thing that was one thing into something else is like my absolute favorite thing to do. Yeah. Okay, and add a little bit well, of wind. Now you've got the it. wind. Yep. Yeah. Windy mustache. And then I can clone it and flip it around. And it's because I had time running that the character head, it tries to look at the imp, like in a really cute way. <laughs> but sometimes you're like, just it's, imagine trying to put makeup on someone and they're trying to look at you, you know, so you can turn that off just by pausing time. 
and then they won't look at you. So now I've got yep. a nice moustache. And this is the same technique I would use for making hair as well, <laughs> but I would just put more of them. So now I've got a nice wobbly yep. moustache. This is beautiful, John. <laughs> just, wow. just beautiful. If you're making that into hair, in fact, what I'm going to do is actually make this into hair just to show you how easy it is using the exact same stroke. I'm going to put it around the back here like this. And strokes have so many cool tweaks on them. This is you, Everyone should really play around with all these options. Go are you going to use impasto or what are you? I, I am. I'm going to use a few different ah, things. So I'm going to turn okay. the wind strength down because we want this kind of like nice flappy here like this. Let's turn the gravity up a little bit. But what I'm going to do is the clone. And the clone makes lots of hair. I'm going to put all the hair into roughly the same spot tweaking these options like this and you can even tweak the sort of size scale variance between them and just playing with these options do all kinds of different things just like you know copy in different directions basically yeah really good for using uh, for making special effects and explosions and fireworks so and good stuff i like to make so let's do that and we can just and weather w really good for weather really good i will show you i will I know I've shown weather a few times, but I might show it one more time later because it's so good for all those people out there who haven't seen our older streams. And let's just put that into a nice angle. Okay, so now I've got some <laughs> amazing flowing <laughs> hair. Oh, God. It's all what? physical. So that's one cool way you can do hair. I know this character's going a bit off the it's rails, beautiful, but it's really cool John, to sort just, of show just all the things. It's beautiful. It's <laughs> Oh, okay. Don't, like don't let you're, anyone tell you you're, you're not an artist, John. I, I, I won't. You I are. Won't, I won't. <laughs> so what? So I think you know. You. Out uh, there someone's asking this. if you'll post this in the beta. I mean, you can do it right now with one button press. Yeah. You just okay. you just can. I'm at it. Let's do it. Just let's see what you can do with I, this. I want to see where this ends up. So I'm gonna save it quickly. And I, what 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 are we gonna call it? Um, mm, yeah. Let the stream name it. Yeah, Could yeah, you yeah. Give us a name. Give us the a first name. name that comes first up name. gets it, oh, as long as it's get... not rude. <laughs> well, yes, yes. And then, yeah, as long as it's not Obama. Yeah. <laughs> It'll just confuse people. Ooh. What are we going for? I don't know. That's <laughs> Squid Guy. Squid Guy. Tom Bulbo. Bulbo. I like, Bulbo. I like Bulbo. 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 How, is how, how are we spelling Bulbo? B U L. Squid Stash. Yeah. Oh my god, it's going too fast. I can't read this I, fast. I feel it needs a surname. Gentle Bulbo Squid Tash, because I heard Squid Tash. Yeah. So Bulbo Squid Tash? Yeah, that that's great, sense. great. Squid Stash? Squid, or squid Tash? Squid, squid, tash. Squid, squid Tash. Bulbo Squid Tash. Because it's got a Tash, right? So that sure, sense. that's mostly sp not spelled. But <laughs> Ramses. <laughs> that's good. Okay, and then I'm going to save a version online for all you lovely people out there. And you can play it now. There you go. <laughs> Done. Oh, right. Into the dream verse you. Into the dream verse. Um, yeah, so was there anything else that you wanted to cover in uh, the stream? I mean, we know we have lot, people have lots no, of no. questions, and we do have our forums open. There's lots of help that can be gotten there, both from people at MM and people in the community uh, who have been super helpful throughout uh, this process. And, uh, yeah. Absolutely. No, I think uh, that's a, that's actually cool. a really good point. We've. Uh, I just wanted to show people some of the basic points where I found they were struggling on sure. the forum with characters. So now you know how to attach physical strokes to a head, you know how to do a bit of sculpting, you know how to do a bit of moves. Uh, Can we I end with Secret Dance Club? I want a Secret Dance Club? Oh, yeah, it was collection. in our collection. Oh, I didn't see it. Let's end with that then. Why I don't even know mind? what this is. I want to. Well, while exciting. people watch Secret Dance Club, I will just give them the uh, information about the beta again. Okay. And it's up, 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 up. up, up. Uh, top, middle. Uh, there we go. There it is. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Let's reset progress. <laughs> Yeah. Let's end on this. Okay. Okay. So, uh, everybody who's joined us this stream, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Everybody who is in the beta, about to be in the beta, we're incredibly excited to have you. Um, it's going to be really exciting uh, to see what you make and obviously to take your feedback. And uh, this is a huge year for Dreams. So, uh, we'll be working hard way on getting things like ready to launch Dreams, which is super exciting to say. Um, that said, uh, obviously, it is. 
is a beta. It is a closed beta. Um, we are going to try to get as many people as possible in. Um, those confirmation emails uh, with code should start going out on the 11th. Um, we'll keep you updated if, for whatever reason, that is not the case, but it should be. Um, and those are coming from Sony directly, not us. So uh, please direct any uh, questions about that to them. We will not be able to answer them. And uh, the beta runs through January 21st. Uh, which is will give people plenty of time to make stuff, and um, it is covered by an NDA. I think we talked about that. Please don't make copyright things. I think we mentioned that. And um, keep breathe, asking breathe, questions. Breathe. I know, like this is, this is trying to remember all of the different things. Uh, you can find the place to sign up on our Twitter account right now or on our site. We have a blog up with all the information, so you don't have to remember everything that I said. It's all there. Um, and like, thanks for helping us make dreams amazing. Yeah. Um, we're really, really excited to bring this to everybody. Uh, yes, your creations in the beta will carry over to the final game. Uh, that is, if they do not, um, if they are not removed by copyright holders, and uh, obviously, if they um, violate our moderation policy, there is moderation in dreams, so things will get removed for that. And. Um, yeah, we hope to see you all in uh, beta, and we hope you make amazing stuff. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be, can do be, new, we'll be doing a stream every week uh, on Fridays so that we can show you more stuff uh, based on your feedback in the forums and what you want to see made. And um, More yeah. tips and tricks as well, I think. Uh, Lots of people have been, we didn't have like all the time today, but lots of people yeah. have been asking for logic tutorials. So yep. I'll be doing that. If there's other things you want seeing on the stream that you're just like, oh, I really need to learn how to do this, ask on the forum. We're there to answer as many questions as possible. And if you happen to be on the forum and you see someone who's asked a question and you know the answer for, go ahead and answer it, you know, share the knowledge. Yeah, mm. um, we like, we're so, I wish we could have shown you just absolutely everything that people have made. It's really amazing <laughs> so stuff. Um, but we are keeping these in collection. So you'll be able to easily find them and play them and leave comments for people and tell them how much you love your stuff that you love their stuff because uh, it's it's just cool. And so sign up, go sign up, get in there, and uh, we hope to see you in the beta next week. And um, we'll keep you updated with any important information. And uh, oh my god, cool! Oh my god. Thank you for joining us. That was secret dance. Party. Yeah. Secret dance party. <laughs> Bye. Oh, could we put oh, totally oh. normal horse in secret dance party? Oh, somebody do it. Just somebody go make that. Do or it, I'll do it. it. Do I don't it. know. Someone do it. Someone do it. <laughs> <laughs> dance party. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>